Hi, I'm Will Patterson, and in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to create the frosted glass effect or glass morphism inside of Vectinator. It's a lot simpler than you think. The first thing we're going to do is create a document. A 1080p document is absolutely fine. We're going to create a dark background. This makes it easier to show the glass peering through. Now, within this frosted glass effect, we're gonna be changing the layers up quite a bit. We're going to be going ahead and locking layers and unlocking them so we don't move them by accident. The first thing you're going to do is draw a rectangle. Now this rectangle is the business card or the pane of glass within your document. Now we're going to make sure the color of this glass is white or a light color, like a blue. That seems to work really well. Now the fill color needs to not have a high opacity. So make sure that that high opacity is being taken down. We're going to make it so you can see right through it. We're going to quickly add a stroke as well. This is just a white stroke and we're going to change the width to 3.66 and change the opacity just above that of the actual rectangle. This will give it a nice look on the edge of the glass, making it give that glass feel. Now, all you've got so far is just a rectangle, but what we can do is in the background, make it seem like things are poking through. So we can make it look like there is something in the background. And the way we do this is by adding objects. Bring out a circle and just draw it and make sure that the layer is behind the glass rectangle. We're going to use a gradient. I'm going to use a blue and purple one. It's very easy to do. We're going to create two of these circles, but you can create as many as you like in your own way. We're going to make sure that these circles overlap the pane of glass. It's really important that they overlap, otherwise the effect won't be shown. Then we're going to copy it. We need to copy the shape because we're going to be using it again what we're trying to do is show that one side of the glass is really blurry whilst on the side that isn't blurry you can see it also very clearly so copy that circle and then we're going to create a square or a rectangle or a shape of anything above that circle and we're going to get rid of half of the circle we're going to get rid of the half that is in front of the glass. Now what we're going to do with the circle is bring the blurness, and that's in the style section, all the way up. Now you'll see you only have half a circle. So we're gonna have to go ahead and paste the circle back on top and get rid of the blur, and we should have a full circle now. We're gonna repeat the same thing again. Using the path boolean function, we're going to go ahead and chop off the other side of the circle. So we'll end up with what looks like one circle, but in actual fact, it's the same shape, just one part is blurred and one part isn't, and they are two separate shapes. Now we have the effect of the glass frosting the circle behind it. What you can do now is add text on top of this glass display and there you have it you have a simplistic frosted glass effect inside of vectinator if you enjoyed that video make sure to press that red subscribe button down below and we'll catch you in the next video